Um, like she said, my name is John Leno, and this is what I look like. So my bad. It's my bad. I know you guys are thinking, how can someone be so big and so small at the same time? <laughs> Something I deal with all the time, you guys. No, uh, I figured out what I look like the other day. I look like uh, if you just fed Al-Qaeda hot dogs for the past 15 years. <laughs> Just the whole duration of the war on terror, you guys. Just Hebrew nationals constantly. Uh, I'm really just saying, like, if John Mayer's theoretical girlfriend's body is a wonderland, mine's more like the floor of an Arby's. <laughs> but I do okay, you guys. Uh, but I did, well, I did wear my best Goodwill shirt for the event tonight, you guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was a nice response. <laughs> you know, uh, no, I really like the Goodwill. I feel like the Goodwill, their clothes are just the same as any other stores once you get all the piss stains out of them, you know? <laughs> uh, we, and you guys, obviously, you guys like shopping at the Goodwill. Uh, I like, I've been going to the Goodwill for like probably like 15 years now. And I think it's really cool uh, when you're starting out in life to go to, the, to go to the Goodwill because you get to, you know, get things at a reasonable price and stuff like that. What's not cool, I found out, is being damn near 30 and having a slightly irregular Who Farted t-shirt in the children's book section to 50% off Saturday. <laughs> I did that joke uh, a couple weeks ago, and the, there's a lady who came out to me after her, she's like, uh, you know, 50% off Saturday is actually the art, so I think you should change your joke. <laughs> so here I go, I'm gonna change my joke, you guys. I love shopping Goodwill, especially when I'm a teenager, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what I don't, what I find out I don't like, however, is telling the totally kick-ass Goodwill joke and then having some bitch Monday morning quarterback it afterwards. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, guys, let's, let's keep it real here. I read this in the New England Journal of Medicine, okay? Uh, actually, it was Maxim. I read this in Maxim. Uh, I read that if a woman is attracted to a man, then she'll speak to him in a higher pitched tone of voice. And this is hard science, okay? Um, which is really cool, and I feel like it explained a lot to me. It explained why every girl I've ever talked to in my entire life always sounds like James Earl Jones. Because <laughs> uh, if you're trying to talk to a girl, you're like, would you like to go, you know, maybe go get a cup of coffee, or I'm just going through some shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want you to maybe go grab a drink, talk. I just think we'd be better off as friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody else? Okay. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that kind of shit anymore, you guys. I got married recently. <laughs> uh, that's enough. That's, that's all that. <laughs> it doesn't really require that much, you guys. Not that uh, No, I like being married, though. I feel like I've learned a lot. Like. I learned that I'm probably a 36C. <laughs> Daddy's got curves, it's not, it's okay. Uh, no, I like that you guys are over there, it's weird. <laughs> it's like a, uh, no, I, I, do, I really do like being married though. I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I've learned how to be more kind, and how to be more compassionate, and how to be more caring. I've also learned how to masturbate really quietly in bed. <laughs> Anybody else out there? <laughs> You're married, you just nod your head, it's okay. Um, no, it's kind of, it's not that bad of a deal having to do that. Uh, but every now and then you do it, you end up looking at the cat while you do. Which makes it really hard to finish, you guys. Not impossible, just really hard to finish. Uh, so, I'm, it's nice to do this in like a nice art space every now and again. Uh, we do this shit a lot in bars. And I'm in bars way too often, and here's two reasons I know I'm in bars way too often. Uh, number one is I was running an open mic at a place that has since closed down on Union, and I don't want to put the place on blast because they closed, so we'll just call it Gills Do Coke in the Alley Later. <laughs> you know, it's like Gills Do Coke in the Alley Later. Uh, and uh, in, in their bathrooms, they had a set of they had three urinals, and the middle urinal, they had, uh, there was a sticker in it that said Barack Obama official urinal target with a picture of his face on it. Uh, which I thought was kind of messed up, man. Like, he's my commander in chief, and I take that kind of stuff seriously, you know what I mean? With that to pass. Uh, until I thought about it, like, he's also the guy that gave us, like, the NSA and drones and more war and stuff like that. So I did what I think any patriotic American would do, and I took a shit in that urinal. <laughs> 
for America, you guys. It wasn't for me. Uh, here's another reason I'm, I'm embarrassed way too often. The U.S. can take this later if you end up at a bar. Uh, I can predict, I've found out, with 100% accuracy, based on what the person you're trying to hook up with puts on the jukebox, how your evening's gonna go. Uh, and here it goes. We'll start off with the ladies. Or no, we'll start with the dudes. Dudes, uh, if she puts on anything by Mariah Carey, you got a really classy dame on your hands. Who's gonna make you wait? She's gonna make you wait until her husband leaves for work. <laughs> and she's gonna grind your junk all morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stupid joke, you uh, Ladies, if he puts on basically anything by Guns N' Roses, I'd watch out because he already put that roofie in your drink. <laughs> uh, we'll go back to the to the to the ladies again. Ladies, if he puts on um, Nine Moves by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, congrats, you're hanging out with the person that has the biggest dick in the room. <laughs> and fellas, if she puts on Nine Moves by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, it's actually the same thing. <laughs> Massive dick. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here on this one, guys. Uh, you guys have been a lot of fun. Um, I ran into an ex recently, and uh, I didn't run into her like in real life. I ran into her on the Facebook tab, People You May Know. You guys ever see that tab on Facebook? Which I feel like is really misleading. And they shouldn't call it People You Know. They should call it People You Thought You Knew. <laughs> until you found out they were blowing everybody at the King Super's Deli they work at. Oh, what do I know? <laughs> I can't make that judgment call. It's a Mark Zuckerberg thing, not me. No, um, and I was gonna stop here. Let's be honest here. I was gonna stop here. Um, uh, and to do so, I had to create a Match.com profile because she's still single. Am I right, you guys? <laughs> I won that one. Um, so I had to create a Match.com profile to do so. If you guys have never done it, it's horrifying. Uh, but when you do it, you have to put all these things in that you like and dislike about a person or what you're looking to find with a person. Uh, so I answered it honestly, or so I thought. And here's what it asked me, uh, or here's what I told it. I told it I wanted to find someone that was fresh and interesting, you know? And I like him with a little meat on him, let's be honest. Um, I like him with a nice set of buns. I like people who don't cut corners. And then it took me a second to realize that I was just trying to have, trying to have sex with Dave Thomas from Wendy's. <laughs> Don't get ahead of me now. If you guys are wondering how my ex, if you guys are wondering how my ex-girlfriend is doing, I actually just made all that up to say into a microphone that I wanted to fuck Dave Thomas Wendy's. I'm John Bonnier. Let's have a good night. Thank you so much.